G'day guys, Richard Munich of Australia. Got a brand new 2018 79 Series Land Cruiser here today. What we're going to be doing, this one's in for a burger with the lot. Unichip, exhaust, snorkel, new clutch and a catch can. I'll be going through an entire build process with you from start to finish. We'll see the uh, the before results, the after results and the, uh, the performance that you will gain out of fitting a Unichip to your car. So guys, first thing we did was get the gearbox out of it so we can replace the standard clutch. Unfortunately, the standard clutch just won't hold up to the, the power the Unichip generates. So stage one, let's get the standard clutch out of it and put in a heavy duty. Righto guys, aftermarket clutch is fitted. It's a tough clutch by Exceedy. We've used this clutch on all of our upgraded applications. Essentially the clutch needs to be upgraded because the Unichip will take a standard Land Cruiser and at double the amount of torque from three to about 600 Newton meters. We've had a lot of success with this clutch in applications up to 900 Newton meters. Even while towing it showed no signs of slipping. Also holds basically the same pedal feel as a standard clutch, which is uh, really good for the consumer. Anyone who tells you that the standard clutch doesn't need to be replaced when upgrading anything on one of these is essentially telling you that their product won't produce the amount of torque that a Unichip does, so always consider a clutch when upgrading and fitting a Unichip to your Land Cruiser. Okay, gearbox is ready to go back in. It's got a brand new thrust bearing on it. Refit it to the car. Once that's all done, we'll get started on the, uh, the snorkel and the Unichip. Anyone looking at upgrading their snorkel, doing some uh, deep river crossings, etc. for all driving. We recommend the R-Max 4-inch. It, uh, it creates a better volume of air, better airflow, and it complements the Unichip perfectly. Right, guys, fitting this catch can kit to the 79 series. This catch can kit was designed here at Unichip Australia by the engineers. The hoses are made in an oil-resistant material by Mackay Rubber. The bracket's made locally and we use a Man and Hummel Provent catch can. Now this kit is available online, you'll see the link in the video now. You can buy it yourself, DIY, install it at home, comes up great. Next part of the video I'll show you how it fits onto the car and, uh, and how it all runs. Righto guys, catch can's been fitted to this brand new 79 series. As you can see, tucks up nice and neatly here on the chassis rail. Drain hose is underneath it, all the breather hoses run up to the intake. Now a lot of people ask whether this is going to let in any water or anything like that. Just keep in mind it is a fully sealed unit. No water can get inside, no water can get out, so you're safe doing your river crossings and your bog holes and stuff like that. You'll have no dramas. Just about time to dyno this brand new 79 series, but first we've got to fit the full Unichip kit to it. It's obviously going to consist of this plug and play harness here, which plugs directly into the factory computer. Then the factory computer harness plugs into these blocks here. It's also going to have the Q4 itself, the two injector drivers, obviously to control the injectors. The Q4 will do fuel, timing, boost, as well as throttle manipulation. And in this case, the customer's option for our new style RF switch, which is a map select switch. Looks a bit like a garage remote. It's got the five numbers on it, hangs off your keys. You can program and change your, uh, your maps on the fly just by simply pressing a button. The other advantage to that as well, you can add a receiver to your gate or your roller door, and, it'll, uh, and you can program that to operate off this remote as well. Unichip is completely installed on this uh, 79 series, guys. It's mounted over here. Obviously, we have got different mounting locations depending on any accessories fitted to the car. A lot of the 79s we get coming in have got a second battery, some pre-filters, compressors, etc. So we have got other bracket options to suit different Unichip locations depending on what accessories you've got. Like I said earlier, this customer's asked for a RF style map select switch, so that is completely wireless. So there's no wires running through the firewall, no grommets have been moved or cut or anything like that. Got the laptop plugged into it and we're about to do some live tuning on it. So we'll get started. On a typical Unichip install, what I'll do is having already done a few standard runs, I will then do a zero map run, which essentially means the Unichip's all in, it's completely fitted, but I have no numbers in any of the maps. So it still runs standard timing, standard fuel boost, throttle, etc. This just gives me a good reference to make sure that the Unichip, everything's working the way it should, as if the car was still standard. From there, I'll work my way up through the maps. We'll move up to an economy map, a towing map, which again, will have a bit more power and torque and finish up at the high power map, where I'll obviously aim for the best possible power and talk this uh, this car can can give us safely okay so just warming the car up on the dyno this is actually really important it's not uh, not a good idea to go start up a cold car and give it a big powerful high rev run on the dyno so the benefit to the uni chip is I can actually see what the water temperature is doing accurately through the voltage that we use for the water temp protection so we'll uh, we'll give it a bit of time for it to warm up when this gets when this voltage here gets down to around about 0 0.8 0 0.7 then we'll be good to go
Okay guys, so you've heard me speak about live tuning with the Unichip, so I thought I'd give you a little bit of a, a run through and a demo of exactly what that means. It's one of the really big benefits and highlights of a Unichip, no other tuning product on the market has this capability. Basically what it means is that I can tune the car while it's running, rolling on the dyno. Currently we're doing 50 k's an hour, generating nearly 30 kilowatts at 5 pounds of boost. What I could do is I could bring the boost up myself using these tuning pots that are exclusive to the Unichip. I can adjust the boost by winding it up. It moves around on my table as well. I can find a boost level that suits the AFR that the car is completely happy with. Once, that's, once I've found that level, I can hit an insert button, it inserts that particular number into my map. I can do that at all different rev ranges, all different throttle positions. Once I've finished doing the tuning with my tuning pots, I can go into the map, create a full 3D table of those numbers, incorporating everything that I've just done to create the best possible map to suit the car. Okay guys, so you've heard me talk a fair bit about the map select options that we've got for a Unichip, so I thought I'd give you a quick rundown on exactly what they are. There are three different options currently. There is a Bluetooth option, which connects with a, our Unichip app that's uh, available for both iPhone and Android. What's been fitted to this car is called the RF switch, so like I mentioned, a bit like a garage remote. It has got the five numbers for the Unichip on it, as well as two extras, so you can have one of the receivers to program your garage door or an electric gate, for an example. And last but not least is probably the most popular setup, and that's our, we call this the membrane style, which is the in-cab mount. When this is plugged in, you'll get a red LED behind each of the numbers. You simply press the up and down arrow while in the car, while driving to change the map. Maps here, guys. So as you can see, as I hit a button on it, imagine that it's a, uh, a bit more of an eccentric garage remote. As I change through the maps, one to five, it'll change in the map set on the Unichip program to the, uh, to the map I've selected. Righto guys, just finished tuning up this brand new 2018-79 series, it's come up really well. Standard, to give you an idea, it made about 110 kilowatts and just over 300 newton metres of torque. In the high power map, finishing up at 152 kilowatts and a tad under 600 newton metres. So the, uh, the results are absolutely incredible. It's also, like I mentioned earlier, I've got the five map option. So there is a towing and an economy map as well as standard. So as you can see in the graph, they come down in power and torque as you cycle through the maps. Map number five being an immobiliser map, which essentially immobilises the car. Now, all this is done safely, good AFRs, boost in the high power map doesn't see anything higher than 18 pound, so we're really happy with the results and I'm sure the customer will be as well. Guys, right, with the 79 series, so go through the usual sort of things, check for throttle response, power and torque, the way, it's, uh, the way it comes on, that it's not jerky or, and that it is smooth delivery. This, uh, this 79 came up great on the dyno, so the, uh, the throttle is really responsive, the torque is straight on as well so very happy with the results for this one a lot of the people have have got the misconception that everything that we do with tuning is all about gaining power and torque in the top end which is actually uh pretty far from what we're, we're aiming to do a lot of the work and the, a lot of the maps that we create are focused on creating much better throttle power and torque response down low where you're you're more likely to spend most of your time around the 2000 rpm mark so after having fitted a uni chip to this, the power comes on much smoother, faster. Obviously, there's a larger amount of power and torque, so you've got a lot more response from the car itself. Perfect for when you're towing, if you've got a lot of weight behind it, or, um, or if you are just cruising down the freeway and you do go to overtake something that's a little bit longer, a longer truck or something, you know that the power and the torque is there on demand when you need it. Dooby dooby doo bop.